against the wall I'm never giving up, I give my all I'm never looking back, attack It's in the past Hey guys, we're back with another Kung Fu Panda video. I have several rankings for you this week. Excuse me guys, I'm just munching on some pizza real quick. But, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to another Yoda Joe 93 video. So, today, excuse me, one second. Oh, sorry guys. Man's gotta eat when you gotta eat. So today, we are gonna be talking about Kung Fu Panda all the movies will be ranked. I've now seen Come From Panda 4 as of yesterday. I posted my review. Make sure you check it out. It's my newest video currently sitting at 20 views. Let's see if we can get it any, any higher. Make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe before we get started here. Now, that being said, if you've never seen any of the Come From Panda um, movies, there will be mild spoilers in this, in this video. I will keep it as spoiler-free as I can, but there are things that need to be discussed to understand the ranking of each film. With that being said, let's rank Kung Fu Panda movies from the worst to the best. I'll have other ranking videos for you guys later this week. Um, the next ranking video I'll do probably tomorrow is I will rank the Kung Fu Panda villains. So look forward to that one. I think that's going to be a really fun one. I haven't done a villain ranking before, so it's a first for me in a while. I think I did one a long time ago, but I don't remember how it was received. So I hope you guys enjoyed my ranking videos. If you enjoy my ranking videos, Appreciate the like, share, and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another video. So with that being said, coming in at number four. Number four is Kung Fu Panda 4. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. This is the newest entry, and I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, it's the newest one, so it sucks. Sometimes the newest movie can be great. This movie has a lot to love about it. Like, it's fun. Um, there's... Jack Black, after eight years, is still amazing. Um, it's got an intimidating villain. It's got a lot going for it. The, the visual fight scenes are really cool, and the animation is very well done. Like, it's got a lot to love. But what it does not have is it lacks some heart. It makes weird decisions. Um, not having the Furious Five in it hurts a lot, except for a, a couple scenes that they're mentioned, and then a kind of mid credit scene that you should stick around for. Um, also, they hyped this movie up on the idea of bringing back all the villains. They're not really used in a good way. This is not the No Way Home for the Kung Fu Panda universe. It's nothing like that. There are some nice memorable moments with my, my boy, um, Tai Long, uh, being, um, being that uh, he gets to have a cool fight scene. And he's utilized pretty cool. And Ian McShane has such a commanding presence. And he does do a really good job. Like, I really enjoy what they did with him. I thought it was brilliant how he was done. Um, for the most part, I don't like the... Uh, um, spoiler warning for you guys. Um, I don't like how they did the drag, the Dragon Warrior start because that's a part of this movie. It's a very big plot problem. I don't like how, once again, we're giving Aquafina everything when I don't think she's... There could have been, just for comedy effects, I think we could have done something better. I think it would have been cooler, personally. Um, I loved about this movie, but, but I did love... So the fight scenes were cool. I liked the story overall of Poe realizing he has to become the spiritual leader. I thought there was a good story of leadership here and a decent message. Nothing that hasn't been done before, but still pretty decent. Um, I enjoyed seeing the opening fight between... Um, I enjoyed seeing the opening in this movie, like how the story played out, how they established the threat from the get-go. It was, it, was, it was very well put together. It's a decent movie. It's not. None of these movies are specifically bad. But some are weaker than the other ones. And so this one, the weakest part, the villains were underutilized. Um, Ian McShane has a commanding presence. The voice cast is good. The lack of the fear is 5. It gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. And the weakest part of this is, I love Viola Davis. She's amazing as Amanda Waller. But the chameleon just does not work as a villain. And I don't like, I really don't like that they use magic to be like, Oh look, uh, I've been rejected by every single dojo. Hey look, I can just use sorcery to give myself a black belt today. I hate that. Part of being a martial artist is working your entire life 
and all the hard work that you put into it. Like, look at Tai Lung. He trained for so many years just to become potentially the Dragon Warrior and be chosen. Tigress, Crane, Mantis, Viper. I mean, everyone, Poe, they all trained to get where they are. So the fact that magic can just be there and take it away, I really don't like that. So that's why I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. And Chameleon's backstory isn't interesting. There isn't anything about her. Viola Tavis gives a good voice performance, but she's not a great villain, personally. That's how I feel about it. So that's my thoughts on Kung Fu Panda 4. If you guys have seen Kung Fu Panda 4, let me know your thoughts. With that being said, let's move on to our next film on the list. Coming in at number 3. We have Kung Fu Panda 3. Now, I did not plan these orders, guys. This is just my personal opinion of these movies. But it is kind of funny how they work out like this. So, going to at number 3, we have Kung Fu Panda 3. Now, this movie, I consider it being weaker than the previous two. because It has a lot of heart, but the story isn't really anything interesting. I do like this one more than 4 because I love the chi element, how they introduced it in this movie. Um, I thought they really did a great job with how the chi was utilized. And I thought it was brilliantly made. Like, I really liked how the story was. The opening with um, Kai fighting um, Uwe, super cool. Super well done. Brilliantly told. Couldn't be happier. I really thought it was so well done. So well handled. I mean, it just, it, it, it's fun. J.K. Simmons being Kai. Kai is an intimidating, imposing villain. Um, there's a little bit too much backstory where the Furious Five are zombified and pushed to the sidelines, which didn't really work for me. So for me, that one was... That one was a little disappointing, um, but but I, I do like this movie. There, it is still decent. It's not as good as the first two, and but it's better than the fourth movie. There's more Furious 5 in this one than there was in the last one, which is a win in my opinion. Um, I enjoy some of the jokes from the storytelling. Like I said, Kai was intimidating. I liked all the different masters. I liked Poe training, training the other pandas. I liked learning about the other pandas. I thought Poe exploring his backstory of his family was super interesting and super well done. Uh, I'm going to give this one... An 8 out of 10. Alright guys, with that being said, let's move on to our runner-up. Our runner-up on the list is Kung Fu Panda. Now look, this movie came out in 2008. I have a lot of nostalgia for this movie. It's a ton of fun. It delivers. On rewatch, it's great. Tai Wong, for me, is still the best villain in the franchise. But I still just love... Like, this movie is just great. It had, I don't have a lot of flaws on this movie. I just feel like this movie is kind of safe. It's a great new take on the animated storyline. It does so good. The animation is very well done for the time being. There's a lot of comedy because you're establishing Jack Black as Poe, and he rocks it as this character. Ian McShane as Ty Long is great. The voice cast is great as we were first introduced to them. Dustin Hoffman crushes it as Shifu. I love their relationship throughout these movies, and it started here. Uguay's fantastic. A lot of Mr. Miyagi and Yoda comparisons. Very fun here. I'm going to give Kung Fu Panda a 9 out of 10. All right. Moving into the, to our number one movie on the list is Kung Fu Panda 2. Okay. This movie was the darkest of the franchise. You have Gary Oldman plays Shen. And while I do think that Tai Long is my favorite villain, I do think that Gary Oldman crushes it as Shen and makes this intelligent, intimidating villain. While he doesn't use martial arts, he has weaponry that makes him imposing. He is threatening. It is kind of badass to see a badass peacock. Um, other thing I love about this movie, like I said, in the previous movies, the voice cast of these movies are always spot on. I love how John claude Van Damme voices Master Croc. And you have John Clark Van Dan as a crocodile kicking people in the face, like in this universe. I love how every single different um, animal has their own animal martial arts style. It really makes these movies more appealing, makes them more interesting. The soundtrack is great in all these movies. I think the soundtrack is all. It, 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 like the fourth movie had a great soundtrack. The first movie had a great soundtrack. I liked how in the third they brought back the Seal of Green. I liked in the fourth how we got Baby One More Time, but a remix. That was awesome. I, I love all this. It's, it's super good. Um, this movie. It has a special place in my heart. I love this story. I love Poe discovering all that. This movie's identity crisis. It's all about who Poe is. Is Poe the Dragon Warrior? But where did Poe come from? Like, and Shen being connected to that makes that so interesting because you're like, oh, this is how he connects. This is a villain that has deep roots to who Poe is. Not just like Taiwan where it's, I want your title. It's not like getting a black belt or getting a promotion. This is, oh my gosh, look, we are... I took everything from you, and you want to know about that thing. And so it's so well done. I love Kung Fu Panda 2. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Share your ranking in the comments below. What do you guys think about the Kung Fu Panda movies? What's your ranking? Share it down below. And if you like what you see here, and you want to see more, click right here to see more. And I'll catch you in the next video.
Thanks for watching.